In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a budget gaming combo by Lexon Elect. I'm going to break down this video into two main parts. The first part is going to be the unboxing and first impressions. What you are going to encounter when you first start to set up this combo set. The second part of this video is going to be six additional things I discovered while using the headset for basic word processing, gaming, the whole nine yards. Then towards the end of the video, I'm going to let you know my opinions and thoughts on this budget combo peripheral set and who this gaming combo budget set applies to. So moving on to the first impressions of this headset. I'm going to go to use this headset and plug it in for the first time. You're going to notice that there's a 3.5 millimeter jack and a USB cable. The USB cable only serves to provide light to the headset on each side. You got lighting, we'll take a look at that later. The 3.5 millimeter jack here is only for audio to the ear cups. So in order to get the microphone to work, that's right here on the headset, in order to get that microphone to work, you're gonna have to use a splitter. That splitter is right here. You just plug it in like this. And then you have green that's used for the audio. And you have what looks like red here that's going to be for the mic on the headset. And one of the other first impressions, when I went to go put this headset on my head for the first time, I noticed that uh, the part of this headset does not expand enough for those of you that would have really large heads. For kids and for like teenagers, this would most likely be fine, but if you have a really large head, most likely this headset is not going to fit properly. All right, plugging in all these components to get them lit up for you. Here's the headset. That's what the light looks like going through the little tiny holes in the headset right there goes through different colors. We'll move on to the mouse. This is what the mouse looks like. It sort of goes through different colors and this is the DPI button right here. You press the DPI button and it of course changes the DPI obviously but you also get uh, light variations as well when you do so. You have your two side buttons here. You have your wheel that also lights up. And this whole entire white that you feel here, this is all matte. This is not shiny. It's not gonna pick up fingerprints, etc. You have gray on the sides. And let's move on to the keyboard. So the first impression that you're gonna notice with the keyboard is that upon plugging it in for the first time, you do not see that it lights up, but it does in fact light up. In order to do that, you hold down Alt and you hit scroll lock. And then that actually goes through and lights up the keyboard. That's what the lighting looks like. There's only one setting. You either enable the lighting or you disable the lighting. And I'm actually gonna turn off the uh, lights here so you can actually see it a little bit better. Let's see if this helps. I'll turn this one on and turn off this light. There you go, that's a little bit better. You can actually see the lighting. So you're gonna have green on this side, red in the middle, and then blue on the left side. That is it for the coloring. It's just on or off, and it's gonna be those static colors. And this is what the mouse pad looks like. Looks pretty cool with the green. It's got a skull on it. They say it's a mouse mat, but uh, this is like, not even close to the size of a mouse mat. I would say this is more along the lines of being a mouse pad. So once I started using this combo peripheral set, one thing stood out to me immediately. Every single morning when I went to go turn on my computer for the first time, I realized that the LED backlit lighting on the keyboard did not turn on automatically when I turned on my computer. That means every single morning when I go to turn my computer on for the first time, I would essentially have to manually enable the lighting on the keyboard. Now remember, that lighting is enabled and disabled directly through scroll lock. So you would essentially have to go into the registry of your computer and figure out how to enable scroll lock automatically so that when you turn on your computer, it's automatically enabled 
Therefore, the lighting and the backlit lighting on the keyboard will turn on automatically when you turn your computer on for the first time. So immediately after I found out that the keyboard backlit lighting does not turn on automatically every time you turn off your computer and turn it back on because that backlit lighting is directly tied into the scroll lock button, I thought to myself, what else is affected when you turn off your computer and turn it back on? So I started looking at the mouse and I quickly realized there's that DPI button on the mouse that you push for mouse sensitivity. When you go to set a specific DPI using the mouse button that's on the mouse, and you go to turn the computer off and turn it back on, the DPI settings don't stick and they always revert back to the same specific DPI setting. The one way that I found to combat this is actually to go into the mouse settings of Windows 10 to adjust the mouse sensitivity in Windows 10 as opposed to using the DPI settings on the mouse. That way you can use the same DPI settings on the mouse but Windows 10 remembers your mouse sensitivity levels in the operating system. So who does this gaming combo peripheral set apply to? If you're looking for an ultimate premium experience, if you're used to Logitech, if you're used to Corsair, if you're used to all these high-end peripheral components, then this gaming combo peripheral set is not for you. It's budget. It's not perfect just like anything else, but if you're looking for a white themed gaming combo peripheral set that maybe matches your white computer, and you don't want to break the bank because if it breaks you don't want to be out of a lot of money then this gaming combo peripheral set is perfect for you if you have a little kid or you have if you have a teenager and you don't want to care if it breaks because you then you could just buy another one and you're just looking for something that's white so that your kid can game on it then this gaming combo peripheral set is perfect for you it's a good combo peripheral set so if i helped you make any decisions with this gaming combo peripheral set Go ahead and let me know by dropping a like or leaving a comment below. I'm going to be real with you. I have six additional gaming combo peripheral sets that I'm going to be uploading to this channel. So make sure you don't miss those videos by subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.